Emergency rescues are taking place up and down the coast this week. News Channel reporter John Palminteri joins us live. And John, marine mammals are getting sick, and you've been there for some of the rescues. Yeah, we're here on Ledbetter Beach where a dolphin was spotted just a couple of days ago, one of many. And you know, there's been an increase in dead or sick mammals along our south coast beaches, and this concern started actually last week. An emergency rescue of a sick sea lion on Hendry's Beach in Santa Barbara was a tough battle. Can you push it here? Can you guys push it? Sure, got it. Keep it going, keep it going, keep it going. Okay, now tilt, tilt. Beautiful, beautiful. beautiful. Channel Islands Marine and Wildlife Institute, known as Simwe, had a rapid response of volunteers. They were careful but needed the help of beach visitors to get the animal into a large crate. Even though it was ill, it put up a struggle. Yeah, that poor guy did not want to go into uh, the little cargo area. It's because we don't have the ability to explain to him that we're here to help him. Trevor Wilkinson and his son were frontline helpers. To see a 12-year-old boy with some natural empathy is awesome, right? Yeah. And that's really important that we do that to our young men. The sea lion was affected by rising toxins in an algae bloom offshore that's impacting small fish, its food source. You could tell he's already disoriented, not able to focus, so poor guy looked like he was pretty scared. There were other six sea lions on the beach nearby in areas marked by the rescue teams to keep the public out. Some were moving around and might return to the ocean, but timing is essential to save their lives. One, two, three, a little more forward. They can dissipate the toxin from their body within a 24 to 72 hour period. If we can get to them and get fluids in them and other treatments, we feel it helps them out. Since last week, the marine life impacted by the algae bloom and toxins has been significant. We've received over 100 calls and dealing with 20 different animals on the beach. This is one of many rescues along our coastline, and they have to move very quickly to get the animal up to Gaviota, where it can get treatment immediately at their center. This week, about 15 dolphins along the Santa Barbara and Ventura County coastlines have come ashore, presumably with the same illness, but there were no known rescues. This one was on Ledbetter Beach in Santa Barbara. Uh, we try to respond to them if we can, but generally by the time we get there, they've already uh, passed. I've been on the front line with the Channel Islands Marine and Wildlife Institute on their rescues for several years now. And Simwe, as it is called, is an all-volunteer organization with a rapid response team. And they are funded by donations not only for the truck and the crates and the nets and the equipment they need here on the beaches for the marine mammals, but also at the rehab center along the Gaviota Coast. Reporting live at Ledbetter Beach this evening, I'm News Channel reporter John Palminteri. Thank John for that report. Another day where we see the sky and the ocean, the same yeah. shade of gray, just about. I want to switch over to Krista now, and uh, current temperatures are pretty mild again. Yeah, certainly mild. We did have a nice warm day, especially for our inland communities. Here's a look at your current temperatures.